everybody welcome back to my channel it's your friendly neighborhood makeup hobgoblin here and today we have what we always have a get ready with me and first things first I want to comment on my skin because ya girl I decided to try a new vitamin C serum uh, long story short I was bamboozled I was coerced I was talked into trying the Sunday Riley CEO uh, no, it's been almost two months of use. Uh, my skin has never looked worse since before I was using my Drunk Elephant C Firma. So during the Sephora sale, I did re-up on my C Firma. I'm just waiting for it to get here. Uh, so basically, uh, I do not recommend Sunday Riley CEO. I only recommend Drunk Elephant, even though it explodes everywhere and ruins your clothes. I'd rather have ruined clothes and good skin than ruined skin and good clothes. Alright, and then also, to double down on this, my, like, skin is so dry, like, there's all these patches. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Future Dew, which is not... Oh, I, the point of the video, I, not the point, but I was gonna ask y'all, what did you pick up during the Sephora sale? That I know, I know, people picked up at least some, um, especially, like, to re-up. Um, like for me, I normally pick up my Drunk Elephant C Firma during the Sephora sale. Um, so I actually picked up one of the holiday kits that had, uh, the polypeptide cream too, because I really do enjoy using that. Um, but, oh, my skin is very mad at me for so many reasons. I'm gonna go in with concealer first. This is the NARS Soft Matte. I have the shade Light 2.75 Canel, and I'm going to do that OG hack and put this on all of my spots and go from there. I think you just, you really just put it on and like let it dry, right? So I did order the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. I'm very excited because I've been waiting years for that. Um, but I did do that terrible thing where I, I, I panicked and I placed that like final order. So we shall see. I did pick up a lot from Sephora Collection this year and I'm pretty excited about it. I got some of the single shadows and then I got some concealer. Uh, I do need to exchange the shade on one of them, which really sucks because like it was so, I like swatched them in store. It was such a pain in the butt. They pulled quite yellow. It, the best skin forever pulled pretty dark. Um, once you were blending it out, which of course I couldn't just blend it out on my face in the store. Alright, we'll see what that does. I already feel a little bit better. Um, it's crazy how much that affects you, like, having your skin feel like, uh, I'm like a, uh, because I've been using the Drunk Elephant C Firma since 2018, 2017, so... And while I've been using that, I, I, in my opinion, I feel like I was really loving my skin. And then I decided to be stupid and try something new. So I think that falls under the if it ain't broke, don't fix it category. Because um, I have never regretted anything in my entire life more. Alright, let's go in with... I'm gonna use this because I've really been liking it. It's the YSL Bare T Look Tint and I have the shade four. And I'm gonna put this kind of on the back of my hand. The shade initially, uh, it's really not a match, but once it gets blended out, I think I think it's pretty good. And it smells like perfume, and I know that sounds horrible, but I think it smells really good. 
I'm pretty sure this is the only thing from YSL I have. I mean, I did try their little shock mascara in like a free sample before. Um, I liked that. That was a good mascara. I think it had that more hourglass brush. Shaped brush, but. It's, it's, this is definitely a tinted moisturizer that does have a little coverage, which is why I wanted to use it. And I'm gonna stipple over my spots, not swipe, which I already feel like that didn't work, so that's fine. How many of you picked up the Retro Glam palette? Also, on the flip side, how, so I do not have the Retro or the Glam palettes. So for me, getting that one was like perfect because there were bits and pieces I liked from them and they just didn't, it wasn't what I wanted. Um, I know some people might not feel the need for it if they have those other ones because they're all kind of in the same family. Um, I'd be intrigued to know. I did pick up a gift set from Kohl's, Sephora at Kohl's, and it came with a baby retro. Um, and I decided to pick this up because I didn't have the other one, and the set was a really good deal with the VIB sale, uh, with the 20% off. The set was 29 bucks. You got a full-size Ilia mascara, a mini rare blush, the mini retro, the baby retro, a grande lash thing, which I don't and then there was something else. I just decided not to open it yet. Oh, 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 Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I mean, I'm pretty sure the Ilia Mascara on its own is 28. Oh, this is the Sephora Best... Uh, this is the uh, Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I picked this up because of Amanda Z's recommendation. And I got the shade 8 Palmer? Palmier? Um, I really like it so far. I'm actually, I know everyone always says this, but I am pretty impressed with the Sephora collection and I do feel like I've been sleeping on them. Um, I even, I did pick up a lipstick. Um, when I tell you that lipstick is grunge, oh my god, it's so good. I'm so, I'm so excited. Um, it's the number seven. It's a matte. It's called Love Love, and I do think it was sold out online. For my brows, I threw on the Tarte Busy Gal Brows in Medium Cool Brown. I primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I want to go in and set my under eyes, and I've been testing out the House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder, and I got the shade Natural Peach. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of, like, translucent powder. I kind of like uh, it having just the little extra color and I'm using the beauty blender thing I don't I don't know but you just want to buff make sure like you don't have a little crease or anything and then and I don't have an opinion on this yet except for um I mean it, it, it it's a powder that kind of works like other powders like in a positive way I, I don't have any complaints uh, and I've recently been getting into powders. I don't really know why. I don't know why my brain will do that where it's like, okay, so you bought a bunch of fun eyeshadow and you bought a bunch of fun. Now buy loose setting powder. Like, excuse me, why does my, I have a little dry patch there, damn it. Um, why does my brain do that? Set that middle brow part down the nose. And I think I'm going to just go around the lips a little bit. none of that color stuck to my spots like at all super fun for me I really love that <laughs> all right for bronzer I'm gonna go in with I don't know if I showed you guys this last time but I did purchase some blonde bronzer some blush and bronzer from give me glow cosmetics I really really love them I just want to tell you the shades I got don't be salty and then Ocean Drive. Ocean Drive is a bit more cool neutral and this has like a bit of yellow in it. Um, I've been having a really, really good experience with them. 
no qualms, no complaints. Uh, let's go in with my little Wen Wild brush. Uh, I just kind of dip back and forth. That's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted it. Because I wanted them to just be like the perfect colors for a powder bronzer. I was contemplating picking up the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I didn't... I, I felt like it was just so... It was too peanut buttery for a powder bronzer for me. And for that reason, you're out, you know? Have any of you guys watched the show Glow Up? We're finishing the new season soon. And I just love it. Like, conflab. It's so fun. I love learning the new things. And I love Dominic. Uh, he's a MAC ambassador. I, I follow him for uh, swatches. Especially for... He was so quick to get up swatches for the Christmas collection. It was amazing. So helpful. And it was funny because we were watching it. And my husband was like, what if they made an American version? And I'm like... And then he was like, no, it wouldn't be the same without Maya Gemma. And I was like, I taught you well. Uh. So I feel like this is quite pretty. I like it. I like it. I'm not going to do blush yet because I want to do eyeshadow first. And for eyeshadow, I did pick up some singles from a new indie brand to me. Um, and they've been following me for a while, but I just... I didn't want to get any duplicate shades because you you know if you buy from a lot of indie brands it's so easy to just buy the same color from a bunch of different brands however when this brand released its Halloween collection I was like oh she's unique so I ordered from the brand Pastel Roses UK uh it did take a good like two almost three weeks to get to me however I will say that the day after I ordered them it shipped out so they were super quick to pack it it was just it going from the UK to America getting the customs all of that stuff um, I picked up a lot from their Halloween collection like this shade I know was called Frankenstein I got a shade called pumpkin um, I did get two hollow shades and then I believe the shade Secura was not part of their hol uh, Halloween collection uh, this is the shade bismuth what is this one I'm not gonna look, but I really, honestly, it's gonna sound so boring, but I really want to use Pumpkin and Frankenstein, um, because I just really want to use Pumpkin and Frankenstein. I'm gonna put them together to make it a little easier. Um, also the shade Zombie is so pretty, um, but this is Pumpkin and Frankenstein, so just a nice fall grungy look, and that's also why I don't want to do... Uh, blush yet because I don't know what we're going to do with that so I think for mattes I'm gonna go into Melt Gemini I feel um, in my mind this made sense just now when I picked it up off the shelf I've got the newer one I picked it up during one of the last couple melt sales um, I've when I redid all of my organization I put all the palettes back in their boxes was that a good idea? Was that a mistake? Because mm -hmm. um, it is so complicated when I have to go and get things. And it's just... <sighs> I have to take everything out of the box. So we're going to start easy. And I'm going to start with the shade Luna. Probably go into Polka Dot. And then probably into one of the greens. But I do just want to start with uh, some simple to blend out. Especially because the star of the show is not going to be the mattes, which normally when I use this palette, that is what I do. So I'm taking a Jaclyn Hill Beast Mode Blender. This is the JH30. Not sure if this is still available, but if it is, I have like seven or eight of them. So if that's anything to tell you. Uh, also, a lot of Morphe stores are closing right now. So if you have a Morphe store near you... The Morphe and Nyan set is my all-time favorite, and I do recommend it, even for Black Friday. Uh, I can't even tell you how many sets I bought of it, because they are the best brushes I've ever used. And they wash well, and it doesn't come with an eyeliner brush, doesn't come with a brow brush in a good way, because you don't need 50 brow brushes and 50 eyeliner brushes. 
I'm going to take the same brush and go into Lorelei, which is the yellowy toned one. Oh yeah, perfect. Every time the video cuts and transitions, it's because my allergies are killing me and I'm sneezing and blowing my nose and then my eye, I'm like, I'm so sick of this. My allergies have been acting up for at least three weeks, but we just have to power through because this is my everyday life and it sucks. Okay, so I'm taking a Wayne Goss number four and I'm gonna go into the shade Leo and I'm going to put this on the outer corner and lightly blend it into the crease. Because I want to make sure there's just a little bit of green showing. Because I do plan to... My entire lid will be covered up with shimmer shades. But I, I want to make sure a little bit of green kind of pops through when I'm looking straight forward. Once that's all blended, now I want to go in with my two shades. So this will go on the inner two-thirds, this will go on the outer two-thirds because they're going to merge. Um, and I don't want to use the glitter glue because I really want to see how the formula performs on its own. And then again, it's the shade Pumpkin and Frankenstein. I do believe it says that they are limited edition shades on their website. I feel like a lot of their bigger collections are limited edition, which does make sense. But let's pick up. Alright, so this is the shade Frankenstein, and it's going to go on that outer B, and just like a little onto the... Wow. Okay. I don't know, you guys are like, it's just a dark shade. I love dark metallics for the outer part of the lid. I think... I feel like it really ties a look into together because you've got ship unless you have an all matte look of course but if you have an all shimmer lid and then it just ends I feel like it's missing something Oof. also too bringing it in a little bit when I go in with the lighter shade it'll be nice to see the opacity of the shimmer and how it covers okay so a little of that shadow went such a long way and i'm just going to take the brush that i was just using with the green and i'm just gonna floof over it okay i am so excited for the pumpkin shade all right i okay okay Oof, this really makes me want to pick up the other shades that I didn't get from the Halloween collection. Because there was a shade, oh, what was it? Not Pump Clown. That looked really cool. I might just ask them how um, limited edition their collections are, actually are. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I just like to take the shade and go over the 
crease a little bit because I can't apply anything well enough to not get it there. Um, I'm going to also go in with a smaller brush and taking the shade Pumpkin again. Oh. These don't pick up the best with the brush, but that's totally fine. I just needed to cover that inner corner there. Wow. I love this. I might have to go back for the shade clown. It, it's more of one of the, like for me, the shade pumpkin and then this other shade called ghoul. Let me put them next to each other. Like the shade and the shade, they're like those elevated neutrals because this isn't necessarily like a color color. It's just for lack of any other term, an elevated neutral, which I think is superb fantastic awesome so let's find some form of an inner corner highlight you know i think i'm just gonna go into this i got this like holiday palette just gonna go into the shade cookie um i'm just gonna use the same brush that i did the perfect little bit of fallout with the shimmers um, but that's not crazy uh, I do not want to do anything on my lower lash line due to the allergy attacks that I'm having today and for blush gosh I think I pulled out something but I don't think I want to use that I think I'm gonna go into I'm just gonna do a really subtle blush so I'm gonna use flirtatious from Pat McGrath um, and I'm, I'm gonna very lightly apply it. I don't know. I just want, I just don't really, whenever I do grungy looks, it's like blush is not typical. You see this? It's like blush is not what I want to use, you know? Oh, I had an alternative I could have used, but I forgot. Oh, um. And then I am going to go back in. I'm going to just take my bronzer brush with no additional product and just go over that. Because uh, I really don't want my cheeks to say anything pink. I, I just want it to be, okay, she's not pale. Uh, next, I'm think, do I, can I use one of these? So I got the Glam Light Scooby-Doo collection. Well, not the whole thing. But I'm thinking maybe this could look cool. But I'm just going to swatch it. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm just going to apply it with my finger, though. Okay. They really went for this. You know what would have been the perfect uh, waterline liner for this look? The shade olive from melt cosmetics one of their waterline pencils i don't have any but they do look nice so take that as you will um i am going to line my lips but i kind of need to block them out so i'm gonna do a little bit of this melt one on the inner inner lip Because my lips are pigmented and I need them to not be and I bought this from a place I couldn't return it so I use it okay I'm gonna take total taupe from makeup forever this this is this is great for like um cool like the beigey lips like neutral lips 
Sí. I feel like that's okay. The inner lip looks insane, but I really didn't mean to drop that, but it's gone. All right, so this is the shade seven from, from Sephora Collection. I just destroyed my elbow. And yeah. I will say I don't love the smell on these. So I'm gonna do that. Gonna blot it out. Just apply a little bit more. <laughs> And then I'm going to go back in with the pencil. I'm just going to round out my cupid's bow. Because I don't like what's happening. Okay. That's fine. Okay, a little grunge moment. Uh, let's change my camera light. Or my, okay. How do we feel? What's the vibe? What did you buy from Sephora sale? Cause that's what the video was supposed to be about. Uh, <laughs> let me know down below. Also, let me know if you've tried uh, Pastel Roses UK. I'm really, really impressed. And I definitely want to go back for at least the shade clown because it's really pretty. Go follow me on Instagram if you want to see swatches of these shadows because I want to get back into being an indie duchess. So I'm not an indie queen. I think I've moved down to an indie lady, but I'd like to move back to my ranking of indie duchess. If that sounds good to you. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.